हेलो दोस्तों वेलकम टू द फर्स्ट ट्यूटोरियल ऑन साइलैब द फर्स्ट ट्यूटोरियल इज अबाउट हाउ टू डाउनलोड एंड इंस्टॉल साइलैब इन विंडोज एंड लिनक्स तो हम इस ट्यूटोरियल uh, में देखेंगे हम साइलैब को कैसे डाउनलोड और इंस्टॉल कर सकते हैं विंडोज और लिनक्स ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम्स पे तो सबसे पहले हम देखते हैं वट इज साइलैब तो साइलैब इज फ्री एंड ओपन सोर्स सॉफ्टवेयर फॉर न्यूमेरिकल कंप्यूटेशन प्रोवाइडिंग ए पावरफुल कंप्यूटिंग इन्वायरमेंट फॉर इंजीनियरिंग एंड साइंटिफिक एप्लीकेशन अब हम देखते हैं सिस्टम रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर इंस्टॉलिंग साइलैब तो साइलैब इज कम्पेटिबल विथ ऑल मॉडर्न कंप्यूटर्स तो जो हमारा साइलैब होता है वो हमारा कंपेटिबल होता है हर एक मॉडर्न कंप्यूटर के साथ जो है वो कंपेटिबल है अब अगर हम ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम की बात करें तो ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम होना चाहिए वो हमारे पास होना चाहिए विंडो विस्टा थर्टी टू बिट हो आइर सिक्सटी फोर बिट विंडोज सेवन विंडोज एट विंडोज टेन ऑल्सो आई थिंक इट विल वर्क फाइन ऑन विंडोज इलेवन देन मूविंग ऑन टू लिनक्स रेड हेड इंटरप्राइजेज लिनक्स और उबंतू एंड ऑल अदर लिनक्स ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम तो इट विल वर्क फाइन ऑन ऑल दी लिनक्स एंड विंडोज एंड ऑल्सो मैक ओ एस तो दीज आर दी रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम तो नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू मिनिमम हार्डवेयर रिक्वायरमेंट तो मिनिमम हार्डवेयर रिक्वायरमेंट इज पेंटियम फोर्थ क्लास और इक्वेलेंट विथ एस एस ई टू इंस्ट्रक्शन इज रिक्वायर्ड टू जी बी रैम वन जी बी मिनिमम सिक्स हंड्रेड एम बी हार्ड डिस्क स्पेस आई थिंक ऑल मॉडर्न कंप्यूटर हैव ऑल दीज स्पेसिफिकेशन नाउ ऑप्शनल रिक्वायरमेंट्स आर एन इंटरनेट कनेक्शन फॉर एटम मॉड्यूल इंस्टॉलेशन सो इफ यू वॉन्ट एक्स्ट्रा मॉड्यूल सो यू नीड एन इंटरनेट कनेक्शन सो दैट यू कैन ईजिली डाउनलोड दीज मॉड्यूल्स ए सी कंपाइलर इफ यू आर इन विंडोज देन विजुअल स्टूडियो टू थाउजेंड टेन और विजुअल एक्सप्रेस टू थाउजेंड टेन और सी प्लस प्लस और सी प्लस प्लस और सी एक्सटर्नल मॉड्यूल कंपाइलेशन एंड फॉर मॉडिलिका यूज इन एक्सकॉस सो इफ यू आर यूजिंग एक्सकॉस देन टू टू यूज मॉडिलिका इन एक्सकॉस यू नीड ए सी कंपाइलर एंड फॉर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यूज सम एक्सटर्नल सी और सी प्लस प्लस मॉड्यूल टू कंपाइल दैम यू मस्ट हैव ए सी कंपाइलर If you are in Linux, uh, you should have a GCC or Clang uh, for C, 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 C and C++ external module compilation and for Modelica use in Xcos. Uh, I have faced some issue uh, because I don't know uh, these requirements first using Xcos uh, or some electric uh, circuit simulation. So uh, you must have a C compiler uh, to use uh, Xcos. A Fortran compiler. Uh, if you are using Fortran external modules. if you want to compile them for an external module and now first of all we will see the installation on windows so installation of window on windows is quite simple just go to this uh, download link the, it is the official uh, website for scilab download so just go to this uh, website so this website will redirect us to this uh, scilab 6.1.1 which is the re uh, recent version of scilab it was released on tuesday 16 july 2021 uh, you can also check the system requirements from here also uh, and it is released under gnu general uh, public license gpl version 2.0 uh, here you will see window vista 7 8 10 so from here you can easily download these executable uh, file for windows if you have 32 bit system or if 64 bit architecture so if you have 64 bit architecture just click on this link and save this file a window scilab 6.1.1 uh, file and just save it after saving it what you have to do is double click on the executable file it will uh, open an installing dialog and press next 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 and it will install uh, the scilab on your system so if you have 32 bit you have to download this 32 bit and if you have 64 bit you can either download 32 bit or 64 bit uh, there is a good chance that you have 64 bit machine but the 32 bit version will work in any case so now moving on to installation on linux so there are two method for downloading scilab in linux and uh, the first method is download the comp compressed file from the official website so here you can see the link for the uh, compressed file uh, for linux so just click on this file and Uh, just save this in any folder you you would like just save this i have already downloaded this file so this is the scilab uh, 6.1.1 compressed file so what you have to do next is just right click on it and extract this uh, compressed file here 
so extract here it will extract the uh, scilab 6.1.1 for linux compress file so as you can see that here a folder new folder is here scilab 6.1.1 just double click on it and go to this binary folder so inside this binary folder what you can see that here we have a scilab file just uh, first of all we have to uh, check the permission for this file just go to properties and check the permission so if you uh, if you can see that uh, the execute property is uh, you we have uh, selected this uh, execute uh, allow exit executing file as a program so what it will do if whenever you run this file it will execute as a program so make sure that uh, this option is selected just close this what you have to do is next just uh, uh, right click on it and open so it will ask i am in linux mint so it, it is asking me run in terminal display or run so i will just run this file so as you can see that a scilab 6.1.1 uh, window is open since i am using a dark theme so my window is looking like this but uh, maybe your window is uh, scilab window may look uh, different so i am just closing this uh, scilab window the alternative method is to run this file is go to the terminal right click uh, open in terminal and just write here the file name dot slash scilab and press enter it will also open the scilab window so as you can see that the scilab 6.1.1 console again the scilab window will appear i am now closing this window again so while running this scilab file i didn't encounter any error it was it worked fine for me so uh, but you may encounter some errors when i run uh, this scilab file first time in my linux mint i got some error uh, but uh, what i have done is just copy and uh, copied the error from this terminal and paste it on the web and find the some solution so as you can see that i have given a link here search the web uh, just click on here and there is some solution so as you can see that uh, scilab cannot create scilab java main class so we have not been able to find it. so if you get this type of error uh, just visit this site so what you have to do is just uh, copy this command and paste it on just copy this command and paste it on the terminal just paste it here and press enter now let's move on to the second method using scilab flatpak so the second method we are using a flat pack for scilab just go to this official website uh, flathub.org and search for scilab so here is the link for scilab flat pack just go to this link i will provide all these links uh, below in the description so as you can see that uh, here is the scilab flat pack all the details are given here I am using Linux Mint. Uh, Flatpak is already installed in uh, Linux Mint. If you are using an, an uh, some another distribution of Linux, just follow these setup guides first. So first, you have to do is uh, go to this setup guide. So if you are using suppose Ubuntu, just click here and install Flatpak on your system. So these are the command for installing uh, Flatpak just install these flat pack uh, flat pack on your uh, operating system and then move on to this scilab flat pack and copy these commands so i am using linux mint i didn't require any flat pack installation i already have uh, flat pack installed in my linux mint machine so just copy this command and go to this uh, go to the terminal and paste uh, paste the command and press enter so it will uh, download the flat pack uh, scilab flat pack for you i already have this scilab flat pack installed uh, after installing this scilab flat pack you uh, what you have to do is uh, go to the menu and go to others you can see the scilab icons here just press the scilab so now you can see this flat pack uh, scilab flat pack is working 
and we have the scilab 6.1.1 window so i have shown you two methods first one is just directly from the official website of the scilab just download the uh, compress file extract it go to the binary folder and find the scilab file there and right click on the uh, scilab file and run uh, it on terminal or directly run this it will open the scilab window if you encounter any problem uh, while doing this method just comment below or you can also search in the web you will definitely find some solution the second method i shown you is using scilab flat pack just follow these links i have already given these links so just follow these links uh, this it is the official website flathub.org uh, flat pack you can easily download flat pack scilab flat pack from here make sure that to follow the setup guide for the flat flat pack if you are if you are in linux mint there is no need to uh, install flat pack if flat pack is already installed in linux mint just copy this command and paste it in your terminal and just and press enter it will automatically download the scilab for you after downloading you can find the scilab from uh, this menu uh, here you can see that synodes xcos all these are menu items are already created in the first method this is the disadvantage that uh, you have to create manually create all these uh, items i will also show you how you can create uh, these menu items uh, if you are using the first method so in first method uh, for what you have to do is go to the, your desktop and right click here and uh, select create a new launcher here so it will create an icon menu icon for, icon for you so in the name field what you have to write is uh, the name of the application so write scilab here and in the command field so whenever you press this uh, icon what command is executed so the command is simple just uh, browse to the uh, the file scilab in the binary folder so just click here browse i have saved in downloads compressed scilab 6.1.1 go to the scilab scilab folder go to the binary folder and select the scilab file not scilab binary file just click the scilab file and press ok uh, the next thing is you have to select an icon so just uh, click this rocket button and here you will uh, search for scilab so as you can see that uh, i have these icons available for scilab just select this one and select if you are not able to find this scilab icon just uh, click browse here go to the scilab folder scilab 6.1.1 and then share then icons so you here you will find the uh, icons so select this 48 by 48 apps scilab.png just select this and press open so as you can see that here you will find the scilab.png and select this one so if you didn't find the scilab icon you can browse to the share directory and uh, from there uh, you can also find this icon and press ok so as you can see that uh, it is asking me for if you want to add this uh, launcher to the menu also so if whenever you uh, go to this menu it will automatically appear in the menu also so if you want want uh, press yes if you want if you didn't want press no so i am pressing no so as you can see that here is the scilab launcher yeah or scilab icon uh, appearing in my desktop just double click on it it will launch the scilab so the, it is an easy uh, way to create the launcher in linux mint so now uh, we didn't have to go to this folder and every time and uh, press this uh, run this file again and again just go to this launcher and launch this scilab so these are the two methods for you installing scilab in linux if you have any problem just comment down below i will definitely help you thank you very much for watching this video